faced with affliction, you were going to fight Gilbert Ivo. Yeah, Gilbert Ivo. And um, would you be willing to do that in the future? Oh, definitely, because we, we match up perfectly. He's mm -hmm. more aggressive. I'm kind of laid back, but I get I got heavy hands. He has heavy hands. And I think it was a good matchup for the Affliction That would be three good. Part. It was a good matchup. So looks like he's coming back into the UFC. Right. So he's going to be in the UFC probably the what, 109 or 110. Mm -hmm. So yeah, definitely want my chance at Gilbert. It'd be a good fight. Okay. So did you watch the um, Kimbo Slice Houston Alexander fight? I watched it for two minutes. I, I actually watched the fight for two minutes. I didn't understand why Houston Alexander just ran circles yeah. for two minutes. And then after that, I'm like, I'm, I was done with it. So that's it. all you watched was the circle? You didn't actually... I, I didn't watch the whole fight. It was just... It, it turned me off to the fact that Kimbo, you know, he's, he's trying to put his time in, he's trying to get yeah. the experience, but he didn't have the experience to cut him off and put the pressure on. Oh, okay. And Alexander, I don't know what was his deal. I didn't know, understand why he just kept on running and running and running. I don't know if that was his game plan or what, but it just, it just, it put a bad taste on my mouth. It took patience to watch. I think. Exactly. Because <laughs> so, I was watching it. Yeah, I, was I, like, I had other stuff. Is this ever going to happen? When's this going to happen? But it exactly. did happen. <laughs> yeah, it did happen, but I was just, I didn't want to watch it anymore. I had other yeah. stuff. I'd rather go lay down and watch a movie <laughs> yeah. than that. And then, and then I came back and watched Roy Nelson win, win the open fighter, win the, you know, win the, the whole tournament thing. Yeah. So other than that, that was it. It was okay. just, it wasn't too much interest because I'm training so much, I didn't want to see that much fighting anymore. Right. I kind of burned out. Okay. Um, so would you be open to fight Kimbo Slice? Oh, in, you in know, in, in the past, I've always, you know, I kind of was the driving force that got him in the MMA. Uh -huh. Back in the day when I called him out saying, you know, he was fighting all these guys on the internet. Yeah. So I called him out saying he should go MMA and my manager and his manager at the mm -hmm. time were just going back and forth trying to hash it out. But, I couldn't fight because I'm a licensed fighter. I couldn't go to the bull dock and fight. Yeah. I got in trouble more. Yeah. <laughs> so he, you know, so they, my manager came with a good idea. Hey, let's get a promoter to put the fight on and blah, blah, blah. And then before right. you know it, Kimball fights is, uh, is fighting in the MMA. Okay. So, but no, that, I don't know. It was going to happen, then it didn't happen, then it going to happen, then it just, now he's fighting MMA, now he's yeah. trying to make a chance of it. Okay, so is there anything that you'd like to tell your fans and the people that have watched you throughout the years? Oh, I'm finally back in the UFC, yeah. so keep your eyes open, don't blink, because it's going to be a quick fight. Alright, well thank you so much for no taking problem. the time to talk no to me, and best of luck to you. Yeah, no problem. Okay, and for more information, go to knoxgear.com.